when we think about social emotional learning for students who are um, diverse language learners, there are many factors that need to be considered. Um, the first and most important is that we can't think about it as, well, if we just translate the emotion words and terms, um, we're servicing our students with diverse language needs. That would be a horrible disservice to the students and the rich variability in culture that they bring with their language to the conversation. For just as anyone who's had an experience with, gosh, that term doesn't, doesn't translate into what I'm trying to say right now, if you've ever been learning a new language, right? Thinking about how social emotional concepts may or may not translate and the um, importance of uh, contextual fit with that translation is going to be critical and key to helping to support that student's social emotional health. And a huge part of that needs to be the bringing in and engagement of the family and thinking about the family, right? And so when we look at linguistic and cultural diversity within emotions and emotion science, it needs to not start with the student, but it needs to start with the conversation of the family, right? So the family and the, the heritage that the student is bringing into the classroom as an opportunity for learning and growth for the entire classroom. And so we could be making, again, the same argument when talking about students who are monolithic and English learners and the opportunities to bring in cultural variability into the classroom by way of engaging the family. If I had to make kind of um, you know, one prediction of what I think we might see in social emotional learning programming at scale over the next five years, that is just it. I do think that families and um, home engagement as a result of the pandemic and the many systems of oppression that have been, been made visible over the past 19 months and counting now, that we will be seeing uh, family engagement as a first and primary part of social emotional learning program approach, as opposed to it being an afterthought or an add-on. For more information about social and emotional learning, please visit readingrockets.org. This project was made possible by a partnership between the National Education Association and WETA.